Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. I want to do a little follow-up video on the review of the Surface Go 3 tablet, the Core i3 model, basically the top model you can get your hands on of this particular generation Go tablet here. So I want to go ahead and see how Windows 10 performs. Yes, uh, the Surface Go 3 tablet can run Windows 10, even though it does originally come with Windows 11 or even Windows 11 uh, Home S, which is probably the worst version you can get your hands on, just my opinion. So go, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get Windows 10 on here. I believe it's going to be Windows 10 Home, but feel free to actually use Pro when you're other uh, enterprise version of Windows 10. You'd actually like to go ahead and put on here to basically fit your needs. Uh, this is going to actually be a Windows 10 Home here. I did go ahead and prep it up with the USB thumb drive. Basically, you can go ahead and boot into this particular area here where you um, boot up from your USB thumb drive by holding the volume button here right on the right. It just says you turn it on. Be sure to have your thumb drive connected here, which I'm actually using here with a uh, little bit of a, a USB-C to USB-A uh, splitter. So basically it just has like, uh, you can see here, just three ports. Got my little USB thumb drive there. And poof, just hold on that, hold on this little, little volume button here on the right. And you should uh, see it boot up into the screen. If it doesn't work out, just go ahead and give it a shot again. If you do boot it up with the left button here, the left uh, volume button, you'll actually jump into the bile. So uh, if you do get there, just know that you're getting somewhere, just you hit the wrong button, so no big deal. Let's go ahead and uh, continue here. Just gonna go ahead and click next, install now your basic uh, Windows 10 and basic uh, installation here since like 2016, 2017. How long has it been since uh, Windows 10 was really introduced? And I remember it didn't really hit too much of a great fanfare at first, but uh, a lot of changes and evolution have gone by to, uh, to Windows here. So regarding uh, all, everything here, you do see a lot of partitions here for Windows 11. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all those. Go ahead and adjust the brightness here. There we go. Gonna go ahead and delete all these. And now you see we have a clear uh, 120, 120 gigabyte drive to use here. So let's go ahead and click next once it's selected. And let's go ahead and skim through this process. You've probably seen it a gazillion times. sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. So it looks like there shouldn't be any issue here. Touchscreen works without any issues as well too, so there was no need to plug in a keyboard with a touchpad or a mouse to get things working. Other particular devices such as the Pro Series, I, I definitely uh, had to uh, connect uh, external devices just to go ahead and get this going. Um, but it seems like everything's working okay here, which is uh, always a plus. Much more convenient to 
to use uh, the touchscreen. Looks like the keyboard came up pretty quickly. If anyone's seen my previous videos and reviews of uh, Go tablets, um, whether second or third generation, I did mention a number of times that whenever I'm trying to type in the username here for the first time, I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust the brightness in case this is too bright here. And uh, the keyboard does take a couple of tries to really come up and I always found that really annoying. So uh, it seems like it almost came up instantly here at this time, which is uh, really nice to see but uh, not something that's immediately going to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down um, just so fast. So go ahead and skip over this whole process here and I'll meet you at the desktop. All right, so here we are at the desktop here in Windows 10. Probably a whole slew of drivers missing here, so I don't think I can even control the brightness at this point. And uh, you can immediately see that, yeah, the brightness doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead and remedy that, get uh, get drivers installed, and uh, maybe even do a benchmark test here or there, see how it actually performs. Windows 10 has all its updates uh, pretty much up to date, installed, and ready to go. I did go ahead and customize it to my liking. Just basically get everything uh, pretty much the way I like it and uh, kind of uh, clone the configuration that my Surface Go 2 tablet actually has just to be able to compare it pretty easily or just navigate stuff. So you can actually see here, I did go ahead and install Office, uh, another browser, Firefox in this case, and uh, put a couple of little weather widget, put some icons over here, change the background, just some other stuff. Um, so from about 120, 28 gigabytes over here, seems like we still have about a good 80 gigabytes left over. And don't remember, don't forget that you do have the micro SD slot, expandable slot in the back of the tablet. And you'll be able to just uh, plug in a good old 512 gigabyte uh, little card in there if you want, just for you know storing the uh, music videos and some other stuff, pictures and all that good stuff as well. Let me go ahead and just to see how the performance is with Windows 10 on here, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up some Office apps just like I did in my other video doing the initial review of this particular device running Windows 11. I didn't actually put a product key on this uh, version of Office here just cause we're just uh, playing around with it just for uh, demo purposes over here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Firefox, uh, bring up uh, another, another Edge browser here and uh, you'll see that it's still running pretty smoothly here. Stop asking me about default browser. You, browsers always fight over that like crazy. So I, you can see pretty well, it's uh, loading really fast. The Core i3 processor and the total of eight gigabytes of RAM over the four gigabyte base model definitely shines and uh, gives a quite a bit of improvement. If you saw my original review of the, of the Surface Go 3 uh, Core i3 variant, one thing I did mention is when charging the device, it seemed like it was actually charging pretty slow. Um, and even leaving it for a good uh, amount of time, I noticed that it was maybe around 70 or maybe close to 80% full. And to hit full charge using the charger that came with it, or even uh, another 45 watt charger ever so slightly stronger than the charger that came with this one, it still said it was gonna take over an hour to actually fully charge, which is unusual. And they weren't kidding. The percentage of numbers were actually going up really slowly. Charging this device uh, in Windows 10 seems like for some reason it uh, I have a uh, this currently is about 73 percent and when I plugged it in it said about 25 to 28 minutes to fully charge. That can vary of course depending on usage and whatnot but the point I'm trying to say is it's significantly less than an hour to an hour and a half approximation that Windows 11 was telling me. So is that an issue with the OS? I guess that's something I'm gonna have to look into or maybe there is something wrong with this tablet. I guess we'll see. You also do have the option, in case you didn't know, just to remind you, to actually use a USB-C based charger and actually plug it into a USB-C port here. 
and uh, if it's actually over 20 uh, watts you can go ahead and get a charge out of that as well too. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video filmed in Krakow, Poland. Just to actually see how the picture looks here and right now it is running at 1440. Sorry I actually jumped uh, from one piece to another there. For playbacks, by the way, I actually turned the ambient mode off um, when in dark mode over here. I'm not particularly the biggest fan of the ambient mode. I really don't know the benefit of it for the most part, other than just using more GPU power and slowing down browsers and whatnot. I'm sure there's a positive... Uh, So you can see here the video is running pretty smoothly, uh, no hiccups at all, running purely off battery. Nothing's plugged in here to charge the tablet or anything. And uh, no complaints here when it comes to video playback. Very impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and close out all the other applications just to give it a good, fair and accurate benchmark. In my original review of this video, the, write, the read speeds were actually pretty impressive. Write speeds were a little bit lackluster, and I keep thinking that maybe perhaps it was throt throttling down a little bit. That's always a possibility. So right now the device is not too warm, um, so <laughs> not that that's really a factor, but it does give you some sort of perception if the device is uh, just basically doing more work than they can actually handle at one point or another. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. So far, personally, I just prefer to use Windows 10 at this time being, though eventually I will probably give Windows 11 the full shot on one of my devices or computers, just to give it another fair chance. A, initially, uh, Windows 11 was just uh, little things like Task Manager not appearing on a taskbar and other goofy options that they uh, implemented just uh, really uh, didn't really look appealing at all to even just continue using Windows 11. Um, of course, the old bloat where you basically see just when uh, you install Windows 11 at first and all the icons you have to remove. Another thing I'm not a big fan of is uh, when you actually hit the little Windows button to actually prefer to have all these icons appear immediately as, a point, as opposed to basically just jumping another step to immediately see all your programs, which is uh, not too beneficial or useful to me. Uh, I just have a preferred way to look up programs. You can see here immediately again that the write speed's a little bit of a lackluster thing, under 500 megabytes a second, which is uh, just uh, something to look into and see why that's actually happening. Uh, jumping back into my operating system preference, uh, Windows 10's been running pretty well on this. Uh, I have noticed it to pretty much compare in performance, not so much, but definitely has its moments uh, compared to my Surface Pro 7 Plus. It comes to boot time, reboot times, other little things like that. Seems like it's uh, working pretty decently and uh, far uh, outperforming the base model of uh, this particular device or even my Surface Go 2, which is also a base model 4 gigabyte device as well. So there are your numbers. Uh, again, writes, uh, read speeds are pretty impressive. Uh, a good uh, over a gig and a half right there every second. 370 megabytes a second is not particularly the best or write speed, which may explain why it does take a moment. Maybe around on average the same amount of time as the other Surface Go devices to install programs and whatnot. Just something to keep in mind if uh, you do plan to obtain the iCore 3 model of this device. There is the Core i3 processor with all its four core magic running Windows 10. So absolutely, as I mentioned before in another video, Windows 10 can absolutely be run on the Surface Go 3 tablet installed without an issue. A little bit of a process, driver installation and whatnot, and you're pretty much all set to go. If you have any questions about this entire pr procedure here or anything else regarding this uh, Windows 10 running here, by all means, let me know and I'll be more and happy to answer questions as best as I can. I did go ahead and download the little Surface app, which uh, <laughs> Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I believe there's a, uh, something missing to really get this thing to work, but you do have the option. Okay, never mind. Looks like it's actually running now. Maybe I was just being a little impatient. So it is identified as a Surface Go 3 tablet in Windows 10. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, stay safe and take care. Bye.